we're going to look at this uh, log question here and we're going to use the properties on page 238. Now all of our logs are natural logs which means the base is base E. So when you see ln of anything that means log base E of that thing. So we don't really need to pay attention to the base. We're just going to write all of these as ln because we can see over here they're all natural logs. The other thing to notice, we're given information. We don't know what a is, but we know log or natural log of a is 2. Natural log of b is 3 and natural log of c is 5. So let's go ahead and start this first one right here. I'm a little nervous of writing a because there's a inside the problem. So we'll just go, we'll start out with a little dot right here and we got ln of a cubed divided by b to the negative 1 c to the fourth first thing I'm going to do negative powers b to the negative first I could bring up top so I can write this as a cubed times b to the first power divided by c to the fourth what properties we're going to use next well we have to decide what operation is happening here if I put some extra parentheses for grouping we see division is happening. And looking over here, division right here is division inside is subtraction outside. So we're about to use that property. So this is ln of a cubed b times, or not times, minus ln of c to the fourth. It's subtraction because you had division in here. All right, next up, we see a cubed times b. So we got multiplication which is addition, right here, multiplication insides, addition outside. So we're about to use that property. So we got ln a cubed plus ln b minus. Let's go ahead and use the property here, which says if you have a power, an exponent, you could bring it out front as a coefficient. So we're about to use that property. So bring that 4 outside, 4 ln c. The last thing we're going to do, the exact same move but to the first log, that exponent comes out as a coefficient. All right, from here, we already have all these values. They're at the very top. ln a is 2. So we have 3 times 2. ln b is 3 ln c is 5, so it's 4 times 5. All right, and that number is the simplified version of this original natural log. So now we're going to move on to part b. So I'll just draw another point right here. And this one is ln of square root b to the negative 2 c cubed a to the fourth. This one, the outermost operation is not multiplication, it's going to be a square root. So let's write it as half power. And now we're going to use the exponent property that says we can bring the exponent out front as a coefficient. And now we have a triple product. We have b to the negative 2 times c cubed times a to the fourth. And products inside are sums outside. And now we're going to use the property that we could bring down the coefficient or the exponent as a coefficient, negative 2 ln b plus 3 ln c plus 4 ln a. We already know ln b, ln c, and ln a, so I'm just going to circle these. You're going to fill in the values for those three, and then that is going to be your answer. All right, next part. So now we have a fraction. It's ln of a to the negative 3, b to the negative 3, divided by ln bc 
Mine's to the first, but yours may not be to the first. Let's go, I'm just gonna write second power here. There is no other grouping symbol down here. So the first thing you should be wondering, well, what do we mean by second power? Does that mean take the log and then square it? Or does it mean log of BC squared? Uh, there, does it mean log of BC squared? I think that the question is asking in this form right here. All right, first of all, we're dividing logs. There's no way to simplify that. If you think, ah, oh, but there's a division rule. Yes, there is a division rule, but it's only when division's happening inside. We have two different logs and they're not subtracted, they're divided. So we cannot use any of these properties over here to simplify that fraction. So basically, this fraction is never going to get simplified out. Our answer, or the simplification is going to happen in the numerator and the denominator separately. So let's go ahead and do those. In the numerator, there's a product happening. So this one is going to be ln a to the negative third. Multiplication inside, addition outside. Divided by. So what happens in the bottom here? Well, that two, that two's up first, the two comes out as a coefficient. All right, so we got down to here. What's gonna happen next? This coefficient's gonna come down, that coefficient's gonna come down, and here we have b times c, and we know that inside multiplication means outside addition. You do have to be careful, because this two is gonna be multiplied by whatever you get in the bottom, so your next step and the denominator is going to look like 2 times a thing plus a thing. So make sure that 2 would get distributed down here. All right, ready for the last part. So here we have multiplication happening in part D. There's no rule for multiplication outside of a log, so you can't simplify this. So your answer is going to look like something times something else. And you're probably also thinking, this negative three, can't we do something with that? And no, we cannot bring it out because again, it's happening outside the log, not happening inside the log. All right, what do we do? Well, at this point, you've seen a lot of examples. You're gonna bring this power out front and you know what LNC is. And over here, this negative third power, whatever you do inside, it's gonna be raised to the negative third power at the end. And I can see we have division, which turns into subtraction outside, and then you're gonna use this power and bring it out as a coefficient on the next step.